Hey guys, it's Sydney, and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm showing you how to make money with fashion, obviously. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Every Thursday, I have new fashion and beauty videos, and today we're doing a little closet cleanse and showing how to make money when you're cleaning out your closet. So let's go into my closet. So the biggest request I've gotten from you guys is a closet tour, and I really wanna do one, but my closet is a disaster, like total disaster. So I figured today I'm gonna clean out my closet so I can do a closet tour later on, but I wanna show you how I make money by cleaning out my closet. So here's a little preview of my closet. I have everything organized, shoes, skirts, jeans, tops, dresses, um, but today it's about cleaning out. So with denim, denim comes in and out of style, so really when I'm cleaning out jeans, I look for jeans that just don't fit me anymore. You know when you have those skinny jeans and you're like, oh, I just want to fit into my skinny jeans? Well, why make yourself feel bad? Just get rid of them. I don't know. That's what I think. So I'll look through my closet and take out jeans that I just don't fit into right now and I really just don't feel like dieting my butt off to fit into them. I'd rather make money from them. So most people say that you should look for pieces that you haven't worn for over a year and get rid of it. There's some things that I really like and I really think I'm gonna wear them again. So instead I look for multiples. So it makes it pretty easy because I actually color code my closet. So you'll see it's like pinks and reds and oranges, blues, purples, whites and blacks, and so much stuff. Um, so I look in sections. So I'm like, okay, I'm in the blue section. I have way too many blue tops. Which ones am I probably not gonna wear again? I'll take those out and those are gone. So another tip is overworn clothes. You know those sweaters that you have that you just wear them to death? Well, there's a reason the saying is you've worn them to death. You've loved them, you've shown them love, now it's time to move on. So this one I've worn so many times. There's little pulls all over it. I mean, I could spend hours and hours doing a DIY project, but instead I need to clean out my closet. So this one's heading out. Okay, so now I cleaned out my closet and I arranged everything into three piles. One to sell online, one to sell in store, and one is just to donate. So let's start with selling online. So a lot of the times I'll sell my stuff online. I use Poshmark, some of my friends use Depop. There's a bunch of ways you can sell stuff online. Um, usually I like to look for items that are a bit nicer, so labels or something that's barely been worn, um, like this dress, I only wore it once. It's just way too tight on me and makes me uncomfortable, but I love it. Um, so when you're selling stuff online, and this bag actually, I love as well but I have another black bag and I'm like do I really need two black bags the answer is no I'd rather make money so when you're selling stuff online there's just a few key things to remember one is you want to photograph it on a white background or something really clean to let the outfit or sorry to let the product pop so if I was photographing it I'd either take um, this is just an old white box sometimes a white piece of cardboard so when you take the picture just take it with the white box or white cardboard in back and that way it's a very clean shot so as you can see they're super, super clean. If it's a piece of clothing, you also want to show how you're wearing it. So either have your friend take a picture or you can just take a picture in the mirror. And you also want a close-up of the detail. So here I would probably take a picture of the bow for this. I would do the ruffle. So really show people what they're getting so you don't have too many questions. So you can always check out my Poshmark if you want to see more examples. So now the next way I make money from my clothing is selling stuff in a store. So there's a tons of stores in LA. I use uh, Wasteland, Crossroads, there's a bunch, so just look up where you have stores in your local surroundings. Um, now some key things to remember when you're selling in a store, the number one thing is you want your stuff to be clean because they don't want to sell dirty stuff. So if it's easy to just clean at home, just hand wash it, iron it, the cleaner the better, the more presentable, the more likely they are going to buy it. So you want to make sure you fold everything nicely. I'm not that great of a folder, so I can <laughs> try my best. So you basically just fold everything, make sure it's clean, make sure it's ironed, and fold it up. I'm not going to fold my whole bag for you, but you guys get the point. So just fold it up nicely, put it in a bag. Next pile we have over here is the stuff that is just donating. So these are really old sweaters. I'm not gonna sell these. I don't think I'd make much money from them. Um, yeah, most of these are sweaters with either little pulls in it. I showed it lots of love. So these, I just have them picked up. So you don't need to drop it off in a box. There's tons of charities that will come to your house and pick it up for you. So I link to some below that I use. And if you get a tax receipt, so this is key, make sure you get a tax receipt because the and you can make money back on your taxes. So you're helping people in need and making money. All right, so I'm gonna have to sell that and donate it and all that stuff and 
Next up is a closet tour. So I wanna know what you guys wanna see. Um, what do you wanna see in my closet? What tips do you want? Just ask me in the section below. As always, I love hearing from you. I thank you so much for all your comments. Make sure to subscribe if you don't already. I'll have a new video for you every Thursday. Hit me up on social media and lots of love, guys. I hope you make some money with these tips.